YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Home Safety Hotline. This is a game that I've been looking forward to for so long now, and the full game is finally here. In this game, you play as a call center operator for the Home Safety Hotline, and the people that call you have some very weird problems, ranging anywhere from strange sicknesses, people breaking into their house, weird aliens showing up, crazy fungi growing on the wall, all kinds of wild stuff. Now, it doesn't drop this on you all at once. It starts off as a relatively normal Home Safety Hotline with relatively normal problems, and then slowly grows into this insane thing with some awesome lore. It was super fun to play. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Uh, logging in, user guest, all kinds of stuff. Hi there. Look at that. <laughs> the OG PC. Uh, we got mail. Let's check the mail first. Click, click. Uh, H... So we call it the home safety hotline. Corporate, welcome. Can I read my email? Let's see. Subject line, welcome from H uh, from home safety hotline. Corporate, welcome to our home safety hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard or board as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSH uh, Corporate. Okay. Uh, we are... Wait. I wasn't even born at this time. <laughs> We're in 1996. It's, before, it's the before times. Before I was there. Have you had another email? Uh, subject line, notice video files on desktop. Uh, attention call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. You will be cleared. They will be cleared up in due time. I'm going to check them right away. Uh, television commercial. Uh, what's this? Play. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, that's creepy, black mold, metamorphosis, <laughs> what the hell? Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Excuse me, what's metamorphosis? I don't think that's a normal thing. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. Uh, credit. Oh, that's probably the credits of the game. We have options here. Now, we're obviously going to click the home safety hotline. Let's go. Monday. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, I've been looking forward to this game for so long. <laughs> this brings me back. The Windows XP age. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Clock me in. Casual metamorphosis. Uh, what are we doing? No current callers. We got, so this right here, uh, are all the entries. So we need to help these people that call us with, uh, like all kinds of crazy stuff. Look at, oh, oh God. Hello. Um, who's calling me? Incoming client call. Uh, is this Welcome Regina? Home safety hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, Carol and I'll Regina. be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Okay. Welcome to the HSH so just family. Metamorphosis. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. All right, Carol. This is Carol from HR. Hi there. Uh, by the way, we can move the game to the side, because it's like a square game. We can move it to the side, and then you get full game, and we're not covering it up in any way. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we got right here? So we have only a few entries unlocked. Uh, oh, I'm trying to read this shit. All right, call. Hello. <laughs> What's up here? Uh, John. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Okay. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something. Sounds like black kitchen. mold. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Love the voice acting. Uh, put on hold, Please, hold. Please hold. Obviously, that's black mold, right? 
Uh, description. Black mold is common household fungus uh, known to grow in moist, warm locations and frequently as small black spots, which look like coffee. Homeowners with black mold infestation frequently report a musty smell, allergic reaction, or breathing problems. Danger. Yeah, okay. So, obviously, black mold. Normal problem. Let's go. Um, I would like to submit my answer. Uh, black mold. Boom. Easy peasy. Love the hold music. Uh, info successfully sent cl to the client. Good job. We've done it. Now, what do we got? We got bed bugs. Oh, God. I hate these guys. Are these even... This is not what a bed bug looks like, is it? This is like... This, there's no way. I know these guys. Uh, bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals. And their tendency to inhabit sleeping areas of home... Okay, hello. That's a stink bug? They're called stink... Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case... Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e, 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 you know, it's, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but what the fuck? I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. <laughs> it sounds kind of like, yippee, <laughs> yippee. Oh, you have a hoarding bug infestation. I'm so sorry. Please hold. Okay. Uh, what if <laughs> when the call, uh, when the. <laughs> Uh, the call center employee laughs at your <laughs> your acting skills. Okay, what do we got? Carpenter, cockroaches, uh, gophers, housefly, house spiders, e e mouse or something, mice maybe. Ah, it's so pretty similar to what she said. Mice are small, worthless rodents. Jesus. It's kind of... It's rude. Commonly found in, in the household. Homeowners with mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. Danger. Mice are capable of carrying any number of diseases. Yeah, okay. Solution. Common household removal. Use of pesticide. Um, moles are not going to be in the roof. Uh, termites don't make E, E, E sounds, so... And ticks don't do that either, so I'm going to say that's mice. Uh, worthless feels bad, man. Uh, mole, you got mole in your attic. Inf I'm assuming that's correct, otherwise it's gonna go like, eh, eh. Let's go. What else do we got? We got ticks. Disgusting. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the picture. Termites. Uh, bees. Don't put them on. Don't make the bees detached from the beehive. Put them on the ship with the bees attached. Very important. Wait, what? Uh, carpet cockroaches. Anyone afraid of cockroaches? Oh, Jesus. Take the hive. Exactly. It's worth a lot. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. <laughs> I love this voice acting. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. That's definitely mole. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. <laughs> you better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. I love that it starts relatively normal. These are normal Please problems. Hold. Can't wait for our first inf or metamorphosis or whatever. Okay, so that's obviously mole, right? Um... Or gopher? Is there gophers as well? Uh, wait, let's let's read this one. Moles are small, dark brown furry animals with pointed pink no muzzles that are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds, and they are known to eat insects. Danger, moles are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. They also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil, which can cause further dangers if provoked. What? The ones beneath the soil? What is that? Uh, moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. However, moles can be trapped and removed manually using a very... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, never kill a mole. Interesting. Warning. Never kill a mole. Spooky. Gopher? Uh... Gophers are small brown furry animals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Gophers are capable of biting animals. Wait, what's the difference? How do I know the difference between these? 
And spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. Don't they do the same? What is the difference? Uh, to evict gophers from their burrow, a variety of natural deterrents can be placed around your property. Growing plants to repel gophers, such as sage or thyme, can also serve to persuade gophers to move away from the property. I'm, th I'm think, But it said here that there's like whole... That there's mounds, right? Gophers are holes, moles are mound, mounds. Because it said something about that you can figure it out based on volcano shaped mounds, right? It's gotta be this one. Because he's saying that he has uh, mounds. I'm gonna say there's no hole. I'm gonna say mole. You guys are confusing me. Uh, mole, here we go. That's wrong. Chat was right. Cute little mole. Do not kill a mole! <laughs> Yes, I think that was right. Do we have bee sound? A raccoon sound effect? House spider. Anyone afraid of spiders? We're gonna have to look at that at some point. Oh, look at that guy! <laughs> what, a, what a cute little guy. Uh, there's bee. Do bees have sounds? Carpenter ants? I love ants. Audio sound? Oh, hello. Raccoons are very cute. Oh, it's this guy again. John here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad. No, info. I didn't. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends. What do you no. mean? You clearly oh, have God. black mold, my guy. Wait, what? Was he talking about insects? It was ants? He didn't fucking know the difference between coffee and ants? I would have given him the benefit of the doubt for not knowing the difference between coffee and some kind of mold. What fucking dumbass doesn't know what an ant is? <laughs> you idiot. Did I do everything wrong? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild. Twig Sigmund? Past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch this big fella. Excuse me. That's just a freaking ad. Who calls the home safety hotline to sell ads, man? You weirdo. Wait, so what was that then? Was that cockroaches? Do they like poop or something? Was he like, did he see poop? Is that what he meant? Well, I guess he was talking about like, but or like, or uh, ant poop or something. Oh, wait. Homeowners with these pests sometimes report faints. I don't know, man. Oh. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being oh, too sick concrete. to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Wait, what? Looking like a rainforest over- My good friend of the kid refused to mow and it's getting real crazy out there looking like a rainforest. Like he's just complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Blah, blah, blah. Shows this- Wait. Can you send me some guy- Wait. Oh, he's got ticks! Probably. Because he's got like Lyme disease or something. Oh, that's freaking- You piece hide. of crap? Probably. Let's see. And that's why he's tired or something? Um... Ticks. Let's see. Oh, th that is creepy. Ticks are very small arachnids known to feed on human and or animal blood and most commonly found in tall grass. They latch onto their hosts, often unseen, and burrow their heads into the flesh of their victim. Hosts will often report symptoms of illness such as fevers, headaches, and chills. Ticks are incredibly dangerous to humans due to their ability to spread various diseases such as Lyme disease and their potential to provoke other more dangerous household pests. Although you can remove ticks once they have invaded your home with common pesticides, it is too late to prevent any diseases they have transmitted. Instead, prevent ticks from entering your household in the first place by treating the surrounding area with pesticide and keeping a tidy, weed-free lawn. All right, rip. Um, I'm gonna submit that answer. Feels bad, man. Ticks. Poor kid. This guy also kind of looks like an alternate, don't you think? Like his face doesn't look entirely right. Is something going going weird there? Uh, oh, your shift has ended. You have reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out below. Accuracy, 75%. Shit, I don't get a coupon, dude. I needed 90% for a coupon. What am I gonna do? <laughs> no. I mean, I think we only missed one.
Right? Oh, complete my first day achievement. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we need to read cockroaches after this. Uh, we got another meal. Uh, Mike. Quit before it's too lasate. <laughs> Quit before tre. It's to your lasate. You don't know me, but I used to have your your job. You you are in danger. We today prefer or each too latte. You don't know enough. It's not too latte to quit freely to resort me. <laughs> Is this fucking cigarette from Lethal Company typing the fucking bestiary? What the hell, man? All right. Uh, thank you, sir. You should uh, go back to school, though. <laughs> Do we have? Uh, we don't have anything else. All right, I'm going. Trasat me. <laughs> That's some French shit right there. That's what French looks like to any normal person. <laughs> he's got. To, he's too, taking too much of that TZP inhaling, dude. Uh, welcome, I believe, to begin your shit. Yes, clock me in. Croissant. <laughs> I can't wait to get all kinds. Do we get more entries now because it's the next day? Next day, more entries. Um, I need to read cockroaches. Cockroaches? Uh, oh! Homeowners with a cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. I see. So, yeah, I am stupid. Cockroaches are no immediate danger to human, but are known to... Known disease carriers to frequently inhabit kitchens, so now they are to prepare. Oh fuck! Okay, I messed that up completely. I was a little too fast, a little too fast on the first trigger. That's fine. Hello, Carol. Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Let's go. Please be aware that this information is confidential and uh -oh. not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank okay. you. Yep, end of the stream, guys. Can't show you this. Um, permissions have been updated. New entries now available. Let's see, what do we got? We got bat. Okay. Well, bat sounds. Okie dokie. Uh, bed teeth? What are bed teeth? Excuse me? The bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus? Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh prevent pollen from coming in the house. I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing. Okay. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Something is getting in. Please hold. Okay, let's, what is fucking bed teeth? Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets. Blankets or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more rarely slimy acidic residue on their skin? Bed teeth are not directly harmful to most humans given their brief sleeping schedules. However, they tend to... They're most humans. <laughs> There's aliens out here. However, they tend to gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections and the open wounds they cause. Okay. Where they grow, bed, bed sheets should be washed regularly. More rare, more persistent gross uh, infestation cover should be scrubbed thoroughly and disposed of entirely. Okay. Let's see. Um, what the fuck is common hob? <laughs> it's a little alien guy. What the fuck? Um, <clears throat> so what does this guy have problems with? He has problems with... What the fuck? Stair slug? Ah, oh, <laughs> Stair slugs are large dog-sized dog slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly refer to slimy residue on steps or other household inclines. Stair slugs... What the fuck? 
Do not attempt to apply salt directly. Okay, I will read more in a moment. We need to figure out... Wait, um... So he... What is his problem? He's sneezing, calling to you to see if you might know about anything I can do to... Sorry, anything you can do to prevent pollen from coming inside the house. I think there's something wrong. Is it pipe growth? What is... Wait, did it say something about... Something with pipes. Pipe growth. Uh, what the fuck? Pipes growth are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp, tube-like structures such as pipes. Wait. For making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. Pipe growths often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit and will therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Pipe growths are known to make loud bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. It's not that. Uh, pipe growth are known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. Do not attempt to reach your hand inside and activate Pope pipe growth home. They are otherwise harmless to humans. It's gonna eat his ass. Okay. Um, pipe hob? I don't think it's carbon monoxide, because why would he be sneezing? Cellar growths, maybe? Um, carbon monoxide- wait, you can- Didn't know you could hear carbon monoxide. <laughs> uh, is it invisible and odorless poisonous gas? It is, yeah. Uh, CO buildup can be caused by poorly installed maintained stove and water heater appliances or a result of poor ventilation. Homeowners affected by CO poisoning will often report headaches, dizziness, or lethargy. Carbon monoxide can cause deaths in humans and pets with enough exposure. It is a deadly and serious threat. And homeowners should take precautions. So, uh, I mean, I guess it's... I guess it has ventilation, but I don't think that's... What is cellar growth? Cellar... What the fuck? Is this black mold this time? Maybe it's... Maybe it's mold this time. I'm just like... Is it? Wait, what the fuck? Uh... I'm on a, a musty smell. Allergic reactions or breathing problems. Black mold is not immediate. Okay. But enough of it can cause damage to household integrity, making it a long-term danger. Just listen to it to cause allergic reaction or breathing problems. I guess. He's not saying... I guess. I guess. I, I mean, I guess this seems like the most likely situation. Because he's like sneezing. He has an allergic reaction. He said something about... He did say something about vents. He's sneezing and coughing. Like, I don't see what else this could ever be. Um, because there's no pollen or anything. False beat. Yeah, I think it's gonna be mold. Let's just go with mold on this one. If it's wrong, so be it. Um, but I don't see what else. I mean, maybe there's some entries we haven't read yet that are like, this is actually kablinkablong. And then we have to, like, unlock. Well, I guess we don't have that entry yet in particular, but I don't know what any of this shit is. Uh, let's read the one we were reading. Sure, I'm trying to fucking... Hello? You are- Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? <laughs> at night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? It's gotta be something with Hob, right? Okay, put He's you on hold. hold. Let's see. Maybe it's a, uh, let's see, let's see. We got many hobs. What is a, what is a desk hob? <laughs> Excuse me? Desk hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other small similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They are physically similar to other hops, but generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Thus, hops are not dangerous to humans if left unprovoked. Like any other hop, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Okay, wait, what? There was another, there were more hops, right? Um, weren't there like a bunch of hops? Bed bugs. Common hob, here we go. Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in households. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. 
They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl, bowl of cream or milk at night. Okay, it's gotta be this guy then. Because, um, keep hearing noise coming from your living room at night. Like, they clean. Obviously, common hob. Let's go. Common hob. Send it. They seem nice. Uh, what is metamorphosis though? Because <laughs> that seems kind of scary. Let's go. Uh, so we have desk hobs. What's a false beat? False beats are creatures with beat-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beats are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. What the hell? <laughs> D uh, excuse me. Yeah, Buzz Goober here. I've been <laughs> having a heck Goober. of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whipper snappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? <laughs> Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. This guy is terrifying. <laughs> Whippersnappers whooping and crying all over the place. Okay. Uh, what is happening? I was so distracted. Just all over the place. I got these whippersnapping, yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of, wink of sleep. Just trying to lay over here. What you gonna do about this? <laughs> It's a creepy goober. Buzz goober. Okay. Wait, wait, huh? Oh. Oh, he was a fucking alternate, so we don't even have to help him. I, I thought that he I thought that was normal. Okay, that guy is creepy. Uh, there's a fracture hob. What is that? There's a prank caller. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Okay. Please hold. Something is... What the fuck? Crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. It's not bed teeth. It's something tried to chomp into the bedpost. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Please help me. Okay. Uh, what's a fracture hob? Oh, fracture hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to cause cracks and fractures in the wall of the homes they inhabit. They are physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of generally longer, wilder hair locks. They also bear a false face. Fracture hobs are not dangerous on their own, but the fractures and cracks they cause can lead to foundational issues in the home. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Um... Fracture hops gonna be removed once they nest. To prevent further dangers, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. This advice to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese at night before going to bed. Sounds like termites. Uh, she seems really scared. Uh, frozen pipes. <laughs> Just regular stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, termites? <clears throat> Uh, termites are small insects known for consuming decaying plant material, particularly wood. Homeowners with termite infestation often report peeling paint, small holes in drywall, or squeaky. I don't think it's this. Termites are harmless to humans by themselves, but the danger they can cause structure. So how would she? How would we explain the teeth marks? Uh, we do have. What's going on? It's crawling inside the walls. Didn't they say something about ants crawling inside the walls? Carpenter ants. Uh, carpet ants are small insects known for nesting inside of wood. Homeowners homeowners infested with these pests sometimes report fa faint rustling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nest. Carpet ants are dangerous but are known to bite when threatened. They also known to spread diseases. Uh, probably? I mean, they don't make teeth marks, though. I mean, I guess they could eat it. 
Pipe hop? Pipe hop doesn't seem... We already have mice. This is harder than I expected. Um, creepy. It's a creepy sound. Mice? We already have mice, though. I mean, I, maybe they go double. No, because they would say something about the squeaking, right? Gnaw marks, though? Commonly reported gnaw marks? I want us with my... Maybe. A raccoon? Let's read raccoon as well. Uh, raccoons are small nocturnal mammals with gray and brown fur, known for their tendency to rummage through garbage cans or nest in attics. Homeowners infested with raccoons often report frequent garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. Raccoons are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advice. Additionally, their feces can contain deadly parasites, which if accidentally inhaled or ingested, can cause progressive neurological damage to humans or eventual death. Mice have teeth marks, which makes sense. But she is, she says, I think I found teeth marks, right? I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in the house. Obviously, it's not. They cannot be in walls. Like, this, uh, there's definitely no raccoons. I feel like that she wouldn't say that they were in walls if it's mice, because mice aren't in walls. It's got to be ants. I think it's carpenter ants. It might be wrong. Like, the, the bite marks are a little... Hard to explain. Because termites don't have any audio sample. I mean, maybe they also make noise, but it doesn't say anything about noise, right? Small holes in drywalls or squeaky floorboards. It doesn't say anything about sounds at all. I think we do, I think we do, uh, carpenter ants. Because they specifically say something about sounds here. Plus, we haven't had this. Plus, they're ants. They're gonna bite shit, right? I don't know. Because... Mice can be in walls. I mean, we can do mice, but then we just have a duplicate, which is a little strange. It does explain the bite marks, right? Okay, sure. It explains the bite marks, sure. We'll go mice. Everyone's saying mice. Let's go with mice. Because uh, it would explain uh, why there's bite marks. It's the only one that says something about bite marks, right? Because this this could be sound. The, carpet, the termites could be sounds. Um, it is just... Uh, I don't know how this game works. Maybe there's no duplicates, or maybe there are. What is this? Pipe hob. Oh, hello. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I oh. sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, it's scarpet to for a while. <laughs> then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm glad we didn't do carpet to ads last round because that's definitely what this is. These how old? <laughs> Okay, you guys saved me. Let's go. Because this doesn't say anything about droppings, right? Yeah, just sounds. Okay, well, easy peasy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's mice again. Carpenter ants. There you go. Boom. <laughs> this specifically says something about walls. It doesn't say anything about marks or something. Let's go. Ah, right, you saved me. What is a pipe hob, though? Uh, look at that guy, by the way. Pipe hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside two black structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my <laughs> God papers, damn Bob. me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! This is a desk hob. <laughs> it's gotta old. be a desk hob, right? <laughs> For sure. We didn't read this entirely, right? Uh, desk hobs are such pieces of hob that are known to inhabit desks, van vanities, and other similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in a desk to their liking. They are physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Desk hobs are not dangerous to humans if left unprovoked. Like any hobs, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Me metamorphosing? I don't know how to say that. Desk hobs cannot be removed. Desk hobs cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further dangers. Measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. I love that all of these have a different thing you have to leave, leave like leave out at night. All right, obviously it's a desk hob. Um, let's go. Desk hob from accounting. 
<laughs> and these are this is just the first or the second day. I wonder what all these entry and accessibles are gonna be. Accuracy 100%. Did you guys save me with that mic? We're gonna get a coupon. Let's go. Coupon time. <laughs> Nice, hundred percent accuracy, baby. Complete your second day on the job. Good, good job, gamers. Well done, well done. I'm proud of you. Ooh, we have another, we have another uh, movie thing. Mike again. They gave you assassins to Mario info different day. I've one read you. If you end up like 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 me, join me in tin this hole. The who you haven't found in me yet. It's Fasafe Hetre. Okay. <laughs> this hole right here? Is that what you're talking about? You show me a picture? Okay, uh Mike, what the hell man? Can you check your spelling? Can you turn on spell checker? Attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend servers to a new ho hosting provider next this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the course of the f next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you are on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network issues. Oh no! We're gonna have to do it off of uh, what we have uh, in our brain. A daily coupon! Earn an exclusive employee discount. Uh, daily coupon used horseshoe. Congratulations, employee! Your high accuracy rate has been awarded has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for used horseshoe. What? My favorite. Our stocks of used ho used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. Ninety percent of our supplies are verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so. Stock up while you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Agree at deal for sure. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it's like a $3 discount, bro. Shit's a scam. All right, what's this new thing? This is a house? 84,000? One bed, two bathrooms. Dude, that's a steal. You don't get that anymore. What the hell, 100K? Two bed, three bathrooms? 101.6 square feet? Jeebus. Can we go back to these prices? <laughs> Four, 120K? Four bed, five bathroom? 2,000 square feet? Jesus! Oh. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County. Is that a reference? Parkway County, Barry County. Uh... This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity your local authorities. Look at this house. 12,000, five beds, six bathrooms. <laughs> it's just like a fucking overgrown mess. <laughs> okay. What the hell? <laughs> He's wearing a shrub. He was, was... Didn't they say it was a child and he was six feet tall? Isn't that super tall? The hell is going on there? All right, well, let's clock in again. <laughs> it's gonna... What the hell? That's a steal. It's a fix him, fix him upper. <laughs> Six feet. Ding. Oh, the child was four feet. The kidnapper was six feet. I see. <laughs> I thought the child was that tall. I see, I see, I see. Oh, the suspect. I thought they meant the suspect as in, like, the, the child that they needed to find. <laughs> I don't know why you would call it a suspect. Okay, so we need to read these entries because they're gonna fucking, like... They're gonna disappear, right? House fires may- I mean, obvious. Uh, anything we haven't read yet? Oh, fuck. Oh, hey there. Hello. Hi, Carol. Supervisor Carol here again. 
again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Okay. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my raise? Yeah, we're getting more responsibility and our salary isn't going up to meet the new responsibility. This is too realistic. This is like real life. Mirror nymph? What the hell? Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They're generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations, provided nobody looks into their mirror. The fact that homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. <clears throat> what the hell? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, uh -huh. but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked what? the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Gone close enough. He doesn't say anything about the slime on the things. Please uh, hold. Let's check some of the new entries. Let's start at the top. Uh, bogger, boggards? Buggards is a general term for a metamorphosed, metamorphosed hob. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fair, fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Buggards are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activity, which can often cause injury or death. They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Solution, do not under any circumstance refer to an active bugger by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises provided you do not speak of the bugger at any time. In any fashion, it will remain in its original location. What the fuck? It's walking up the stairs and coming in the room. What the fuck? Bro, he's got killed. <laughs> False artifact? <clears throat> False artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. <laughs> Danger, false artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a ch child or pest be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards of several years to complete. Starvation can be a more pressing concern. Concern. Solution. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. The pest, remo pest removal services should be called to, ho to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the griefing process. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? False Roche bush? Bush? It's got feet! False Roche bushes are large plant like creatures that commonly take on the appearance of a red Roche bush. In place of roots, they cre these creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. Homeowners with false Roche bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. False Roche bushes pose incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets. 
As their diet consists of small mammals. They are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. The removal of false rosebush from a garden that they have inhabit have inhabited. It is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range for an extended period. If a false rosebush goes more than one month without eating, it will move on to a new territory on its own. Okay, dude, these people, these all eat children. What the fuck? Memory wisp! What was that? It was talking about it. What in the fuck? Due to a clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. The issue will be corrected by the end of the month. The fuck? Memory wisps are invisible and odorless. I know that we need to help this guy, but I'm so interested in all these different things now. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners invested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Danger. Memory wisps are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Memory wisps will, off will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There's no need for further action? Okay, uh, wait, what the fuck? What, do, what is this guy? There's something in the basement. Is it the fucking... It's as big as a dog? Is it the fucking buggered? It was a slug. Is it, oh, it did say that the slugs were as big as a dog, didn't it? Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs! Yes! That are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeless defensive with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on their steps or household inclines. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage if not properly cleaned after. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway Stair stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly after the slug has been dehydr has dehydrated itself. You can dispose of its body. What the fuck? Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna go with that. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I've gotten close enough to... F I haven't gotten close enough to find out. It's always lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement. Okay. It's not a slug? Why does it say it's as big as a dog? It doesn't hit or hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gone close enough to it to find out what it's what it is, since it's always lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. I mean, what else? Why would they specifically... It says basement that checks out. It doesn't say anything about growling, which is also not something that this does. Um... Like, this doesn't growl. It doesn't say anything about the slime, though. Which is surprising. Because, like, why? That would be something you would definitely see. You can hear... Oh, wait. I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Oh. I mean, why would... This doesn't make creaking sound, does it? Maybe it is a bugger. Is there a new, another new entry that we missed? It's never in the lamp sprite seems weird. What's a tea sprite? Okay, that's, that's definitely not it. That's something different. Whistling fungi, wine, wood secretions, unicorn fungi. I th I'm just going to go with slug. It might be something else if you've already... I feel like slug is like the most normal. I mean, it doesn't... The creaking doesn't seem to line up, but everything else does. We're just going to go with that. Um, why would cellar growth be... Creaking at night. Oh, did this make a creaking noise? But it's from the. S oh, what, wait, is cellar a basement? I thought cellar was an attic. That could have been it. But why wouldn't he have seen this then? There's no way he wouldn't have realized that it was on the fucking ceiling. Like, that, that's just wrong reporting. You should fucking get better at calling, sir. Hey, uh. Cellar is a basement. I've been hearing some really weird noises. 
saucer recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this uh, nasty smell. Pipe hobs or pipe growths? Okay. And here's some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. Please Let's see. Hold. So definitely something with pipe. It's pipe. There were two pipe things. There's pipe hob or pipe growth. Let's see. Pipe hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside tube-like structures, such as pipes. They bear no false face. They will commonly emerge. This sound. I feel like growths are more... It doesn't say anything about stinky. Does this say something about stinky? Uh, so pipe, pipe growths often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit and will therefore clog the pipe def indefinitely until the removal. Pipe growths are known to make loud bubbling digestion noises. Weird noises. Pipe growths are known to attempt to eat anything that comes into their domain. Most commonly accidents occur when a child... Human child attempts to reach your hand. Do not attempt to do that. Doesn't say anything about sti nasty sound, along with this nasty smell. Is there a toilet? Toilet hob. What is a toilet hob? Toilet hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for homing, homing inside toilets. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they are active at night, keeping the toilets they inhabit nearly spotless. Toilet hobs are not- this doesn't seem like- Toilet hobs are not dangerous on their own, but their physical presence within the house they inhabit may result in plumbing problems over time, such as leaks or clogs. Like any hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. I don't think so. Uh... What are these guys? These are not... Wood secretions. Secretions are pink, vicious- what the fuck we're gonna have to- No, it's definitely not that. So it's gonna be... Pipe hob? It's just that there's no smell reported at all. Why would it be frozen? Frozen pipes doesn't make any sense. It's gotta be growth or this. I mean, he doesn't say anything about... He just says a weird noise. Does this pipe grow? This makes digestion noises, right? Let's do pipe growth. I think pipe growth is the most likely because it's like the weird noises, right? Really line up well. I went through low. What the fuck? I'm going around it too fast. Pipe growth. There we go. Say that. It clogs, and he doesn't say anything about that, but I feel like this would make be more stinky. Because the other thing are usually they... Like, hobs keep everything clean, right? Let's read the... What is this, by the way? I know we probably had this one wrong. Uh, Like, what is this fucking cellar growth? Ugh. Cellar growths are a large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments such as cellars. Almost invested cellar growths commonly report a slimy residue, the sounds of dripping or stretching, or strange glows coming. This doesn't line up at all with what they said. Cellar growths are most commonly grown. If it's cellar growths, that guy needs to fucking have better descriptions, because that is in no way what he was talking about. I could see it be a bugger. My wife. What? I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. Mirror nymph. She did it. I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. That's fucked up. Oh no, it's the wisp thing. The memory wisp. Yeah. It's his perception that's fucked. Oh my god, that's messed up. It's gone. I can't see your face, I can't see. She's dead? Although, it's one of them. They're all gone. It's all gone is what makes me think Memory Wisp instead of uh, Mirror Nymph. She's oh he's she's dead and I can't see her face. She can't remember, so she was already dead, but he can't remember her now anymore. Yeah, that's Be gotta be old. it, right? Uh I think. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because the mi Like cause what did this say again? They're not a directly a danger. He seems to be pretty commonly reported. Yeah, not being able to recognize their own face, but it's not about their own face. So yeah, it's gonna be memory wisp. 
uh, memory wisp, which was the like thing that makes everyone forget. Yeah, it's their own. It affects their own face. Feels bad, man, dude. We're gonna be like, yo, sorry, there's nothing to do <laughs> because that's there was no thing that we had to do for it, right? What is root secretion? Root secretions are a pink, vicious substance. Shit, hello. I'm trying to read. Uh, I, what? I don't know what this weird info you said. Oh, you piece of crap. But I tried it and uh, it didn't fix the faucet. Is this a s I'm calling oh. a plumber. Huh? Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Wait. So it was a hob then? What are you? Why was it stinky? Are you just fucking like? Are you stinky yourself? Why would it be frozen? Wait, frozen pipes are stinky? Oh, really? How much did frozen pipe may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds coming from the pipes or leakage? Oh, I had no idea. Okay, I, I guess. Really? What the hey, fuck? Yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, <laughs> sticks, and pebbles. Sod, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. <laughs> and I grabbed you by the goober and smack you around till next <laughs> Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> <laughs> I ought to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday? What the fuck? Okay, so that... Oh, interesting. Man, he was so scared. I was expecting it to be something paranormal. He was just like, oh, God, like, this, my pipes, they're, they're scary. Fucking little bitch. <laughs> Un unicorn fungi? Unicorn fungi are rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow. Okay, I'm going to, no matter what this guy does, I'm going to read these first before. Uh, hi? I, uh... I have no oh, idea they're gonna be teeth. My sheets Dead are teeth. nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Dead teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? Probably. I usually shower like once a week for my skin <laughs> health, so maybe that's it. Oh, it's one of those guys. <laughs> People really be like, yeah, I only shower once a week because it's better for my skin. Yeah, why don't you fucking work out every day then, huh? You don't work out every day. You just pick the things that are healthy for you when they fucking suit your lazy ass lifestyle, you idiot. Please anyway, sorry. Call. I, I didn't mean to call anyone out in chat. Um, Unicorn. Okay, let's read these that are new before they're gonna like wipe our memory or something. Unicorn fungi are a rare horn shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals. Oh, like that. I, I thought it was just a dog, but is this thing? Uh, and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems, such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. <laughs> Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically if removal needs expediting to prevent unicorn fungi from developing. Regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoors activity. Whistle- No! Oh, wait, what? What is a whistling fungi? I don't know what a whistling fungi is. I can't read it. Sound still works. What the fuck? <laughs> no, it's a leaning on my shit. Lucky Leo. Okay, well, unlucky. What's up? I want to hear it though. I can't. Oh, can we read this one? Literally everything is fucked. At least this one is really clear because it's bed teeth. Uh, unlucky. It's fine. We'll get to read these next times. Bed, not bed bugs. Bed teeth. Clearly. 
Let's go. Easy peasy. Okay, everything is deleted now, but it's fine because that was a clear one. That was a really easy one. Was that our last one? We definitely got one mistake, which means we don't get a coupon. No used horseshoe. Feels bad, man. We're gonna have to get a new horseshoe. Bugger. Everything is just dead. Wait, how can I still read that one then? Uh, yeah. Hi. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling? I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. The fracture hob. He knows just how naughty that would be. Right, it's gotta be fracture hob, right? Jeez, oh. We can't read it, but those make the... Oh, no, we can't read it. Oh, wait, now we can read these then. Okay, well, obviously this is a fracture hob, but now I want to read these. Whistling fungi. Whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths with many small holes in their caps that frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling fungi often report dissonant whistling sounds coming from their walls. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are, very, are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers or by utilizing HSA, HSH fungal removal services. To prevent a whistling fungi infestation, ensure there are no open cracks in your home. What the hell? What, but you don't, you're not telling me what happens when they sing in harmony. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, so that's... Uh, Wait, so this is the harmony then. If you hear this, you gotta run. Okay, wine sprite. Uh, the fuck? Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for co consuming wine. They are large, they are small, large eyed winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red while they are feeding. Oh, these guys, I see. They have a long pro pro boss probosis? that they used to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. It's a wine sprite, did I not say that wrong? Did I say that wrong? Wine sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fee flu, and should be removed as soon as possible. Wine sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides or and traps, provided they are baited with wine. To avoid future infestations, be sure to always clean wine glasses and containers immediately after use. What is this wood secretion? Um, wood secretions are a pink, oh, like that, pink, vicious or viscous, uh, viscous liquid su substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky pooling buildup. Danger. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as sweet candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced entirely. To prevent wood from entering the secretion stage, ensure good care is taken towards wood in the home and refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging on wooden surfaces. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. <laughs> what the fuck? What is rapid translation of flesh? <laughs> Be nice to your wood, guys. <laughs> okay, I think we read them all now. Uh, so what is this? P is a fracture hob, right? We I got a little lost in the sauce, but she saw like things being broken and stuff, which is exactly what the fracture hob does. It breaks walls, cracks, and stuff. So yeah, here we go. Fracture hob. Is he peasy? Why does she look so creepy to me? Let's go. Are we still we're still gonna we're not gonna be above ninety, right? We're gonna be like eighty percent. I think we got like five or something. I love these false things. There's still so many. Oh, no, there's one more. Lamp Sprite that I didn't read. 
Hey, it's you again. Do you think Wait. this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? <laughs> what kind of joke is that? <laughs> It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employees uh oh, you it's a bugger. It's probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. If you fucking left out the bowl of cream, it wouldn't have but it would you would have been fine, you idiot! Please, oh. Why didn't you just follow the directions? My guy. What is a lamp sprite, by the way? Lamp sprites are a common subspecies of sprite that make their home inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Lamp sprites are not during, direct are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not under any circumstances turn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. Lamp strikes will leave on their own once their lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp to prevent the lamp strike from rehoming itself. Ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite f fails to find an active lamp, it will leave the home on its own. You got, dude, imagine that. You gotta just be staring at this one lamp, the one single lamp that's on in your house with like a little guy inside, and you have to keep all the other lamps off to make sure that it doesn't go there, and it can take like a really long time <laughs> shit's fucking terrifying <laughs> yeah that's and that right there is why you should not use leds because they will never fucking burn out <laughs> ripperoni okay well bug buggered right because you said something about power outages uh yeah electric outages you fucked up sir good luck with getting a new house Just unplug the lamp. It literally said not to turn off the light or you fucking die. This is gonna happen to you, Gary. Dude, that's some fucking jester shit right there. Like the, the coming closer loud stomps. <laughs> All right, sir. Here you go. Bugger. You fucked it up. F Gary. You gotta get out of there. Look at that face. That's so creepy. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> no, I'm haunted. 60. Wait, did we make two mistakes? I guess we made two mistakes. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Complete your third day on the job. Wednesdays, am I right? <laughs> this game is so fun. Oh, we got a we got new uh, new movie. Uh, introducing our new office pet. What cat? Hello, home safety hotline family. We're excited to introduce to you to all of you our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and as as serious about pest control as we are. Please give our Whiskers. Please give whisk give whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. No, please refrain from picking up or feeding whiskers as he is still going to no wait. As he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. I see. Look at that guy. Cutie. Alright, what's this what's this video that we got right here? Wasn't that the cat's lady? Did the lady fucking die and then they got her cat? <laughs> the mystery of mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. Mice. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. <laughs> this 
is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. <laughs> and this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. This is the exact same picture, bro. Known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like some fucking guy. It's like your your uh, like elementary school presentation. <laughs> like <laughs> I do my presentation about mice. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't know what the hell. It's just a theory right there. <laughs> Literally, Mad Path. Thursday! It's Terrible Trio Day, let's go. What, what are we gonna get now? More crazy stuff, clock me in, baby. Yeah, what happened to the guy sending me emails? Do we get more? There's still so many inaccessible entries. Like, half of them, basically. Look at this. Call me Carol. There we go. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed the... so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more oh. extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. The <laughs> why do you fucking talk so weird? <laughs> This is how they talk like in 1996, guys. It was the olden times. Oh, let's go new stuff. Attic gnome. Hi. Okay. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. However, infested with attic gnomes. Wait. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping rapping sound coming from their ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's gotta be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh Homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning, and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fix for us? Falls beat. He's got so Please this. Hold. We read this earlier. Let's see. Uh, oh, what is oh, it? Fay flu or whatever. Uh, excuse me. Fay flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household fay. Household fay. Symptoms of fay flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Fay flu is rarely fatal, but it can have a long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an infected human. Long-term symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored visions, deliriousness, and endless dreams. Endless dreams? There's no cure for fey flu, however, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, fey-free home. This is a fey feast. The fuck? 
Feasts are mid to large sized pile of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. Danger. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence and attract other household pets such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Feasts are a sign of a hospitable presence and as such should be consumed immediately once cited to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. It's just free food? <laughs> uh, wait, so false beats, right? False beats are creatures with a beat-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beets are harmless unless eaten by human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the... Yeah, okay, so that's that. Let's read four, four roots real quick. Um, what? Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Yes. Danger. Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are known strangling hazards for human children. It's always children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family households. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they will seize their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls or similar human-shaped fat... Fat... Face... What the hell is that word? To give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safer to inhabit once... Safe to inhabit once more. Facsimile? Facsimile? Uh, make any repairs to the floors needed or utilize HSH home repair services. Okay. Um, so we're going to say false beat. Because he only eats homegrown blah blah blah. Facsimile. I don't know. What does it mean though? Uh, the horde? What the fuck? The horde is an, is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, it's you again. Wait. Hello? Uh-oh. Did I fuck up? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but... No! cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. You idiots. You gotta get a booger. I'm sorry. Goodbye. No! She's not listening to us. It is a fracture hop, but she's fucking it up. No, my daughter is called pest control. She told me not, not to call you any... Wait. Oh, well, did she, she had the cat, right? So we stole her cat. <laughs> and then, what the fuck is going on? It's definitely, it, no, it's not termites. She's fucking getting herself killed, I'm telling you. She, she had a fracture hob, but she's just like not believing us. The horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household re refuse. Uh, I'm trying to fucking. Hello. The police told me to call this number, so I uh hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. What? I can hardly sleep anymore. They're standing there, menacingly. Okay, somebody is stalking me, I can see their shadow at my window. Okay, what is the fuck is the horde? The horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home, Make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Run food, used syringes, and rusty metals are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde's presence. Once introduced to a home, the horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It's advice to sell one's home at the first sight of 
the horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. Who's going to buy the home? <laughs> this advice doesn't work. You can't buy What are you going to tell the next people that live there then? The sell it as well? Just an infinite sell? <laughs> what the fuck? To prevent the horde from gathering in one's home, it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the horde's attention. I'm fucked, dude. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in this process. Um, laundry gnome? Night gnome? Night gnome? Uh, night. This might be it. Gotta be. <laughs> Night gnomes are small, hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sound during late hours. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleep masks to prevent being startled by their presence. Night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There's no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. It's gotta be that, right? <laughs> or Night Wisp, maybe? Night Wisp. Wait, what's the sound? The fuck? Damn alien. Night Wisp are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floated li floating lights. They're known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Did it whisper something? I don't know what it's saying. Uh, night whisper are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Nightwisp will move on to other homes after a week, so if they are ignored consistently... If they are ignored consistently. It is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wearing sleeping masks to prevent sleep disruption. Portal? The fuck? Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowner's dis... Homeowners. Homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basement or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. Portals can introdu introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as possible as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seals should be airtight as to not allow for anything to come inside the home. It is advised to utilize HSH's home security services to ensure portals are sealed safely. What the fuck? Okay, wait, so night gnome, right? For you? Because it's watching you sleep at night? Night gnome. <clears throat> there we go. Joey, thank you for the four. And Shu, thank you for the prime. Uh, boom. There's also laundry gnome. I see a hand right there. Laundry gnome are a subspecies of gnome with thick fiber-like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report loud rattling or banging sounds coming from their washing machine and missing socks. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay. It was them. You have them. Hello, yes, I believe there may be a problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Is this attic gnomes or, like, ceiling growth or something? My daughter, or cellar growth? My daughter has been able to stop coughing. Please hold. What is an attic gnome? Let's read that again. 
Uh, homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from the ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. Attic gnomes' feeding habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests which are spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. Remove an attic gnome from the household is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly to avoid giving it a source of food. This will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. Hey, let's see. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises, and the air quality se this seems like it checks out. Ventilation, and like the they they got startled or something, and then there was a bunch of dust in the in the air. I think that's it. Let's read. What is a cellar grotto? Cellar grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a noticeable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home, and the heightened humidity they introduce can cause a warped floorboards, weakened foundation, and other hazards. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold? Excuse me? <laughs> The creator often resides somewhere within the grotto subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion, or consider utilizing HSH grotto removal team. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's not what I expected at all. Okay. I think this is Attic Gnome. I'm gonna just say Attic Gnome. <laughs> what in the fuck? So good. Okay. Um. Let's see. Seedling. Seedlings are small insectoids creatures. Is it that? About the size of an aphid. They are known for burying in outdoor plants or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. <laughs> Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Uh -oh. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. It's a bush thing. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. The artifact? What the fuck feels bad, man? So I know my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and wasps and stuff. The sound. Oh, the sound of the. Wasn't the Be sound old. of the artifact like. Uh, like some kind of buzzing noise? False artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds. They can usually only be heard by very young human children or small pets. Homeowners with false artifacts are often report out of place options for missing children or pets. False artifacts, while not direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards of several years to complete. Starvation can be a more pressing concern. Solution, once a false artifact has been identified, removal is a simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. HSH Pest Removal Services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. This shit's fucking dark, man. All right, well, <laughs> I hate to tell you, but <laughs> damn, dude, that's fucked up. Rest in peace, Jeremy. Anything new? Travel gnome? Wait, we were reading one of the things, right, that we didn't finish, but... Um... Travel or seedling, I think we were reading. Travel gnomes are a highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. 
They're found mostly, most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new uh -oh. home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the oh, basement maybe. that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of Fracture hub? Cheese littered across the basement fracture floor. hub! I Maybe it was termites, the previous, the previous one. I'm glad it wasn't the fracture hub. Any kind of legal advice. I wonder if you can offer any time of legal advice. Okay, Please put on hold. hold. I'm just reading this one first, though. That's gotta be fracture hub right there. Because the fracture hobs eat cheese, right? Termites don't eat cheese. Travel gnomes are highly... blah, blah, blah. Where are they? This one? Or are they just in the thing? Oh, no, right there. Oh, what the fuck? You can see two eyes and a nose? Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. Pollution, spraying pesticides, and weed killer in the home can deter travel gnomes Gardening prospects, at which point it will wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. To encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away in visitors' luggage. What the fuck, man? <laughs> That's fucking rude. <laughs> That's so funny. What is the seedling we were reading? Uh, danger. Though their weed-killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. What the fuck? To remove seedlings from a garden, one should not go near their established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinklers, or similar range device to overwater and drown out the seedlings from afar. Okay, then. Uh, anyway, you got a fracture hub, uh, my guy. Uh, because they love cheese, right? Don't they love cheese? Uh, it is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. Okay, fracture hob. Um, I got baited by the other one, man. <laughs> Alrighty, easy peasy. I think I've read them all. So now we can prepare against... Maybe I, I forgot some. Still quite a few. What the hell is this, man? It's just creepy as hell. We're going for 100... Oh. An order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. I got a big old party I'm setting up here at the studio, and we're gonna need that orange drink to uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean? Gonna need that orange drink to feed my crew. I thought y'all still got that cheesy greaser. Too many mouths to feed. Maybe. The uh, uh, pepper squeeze. Don't tell me you don't got the pepper squeeze. <laughs> what the fuck is gonna the pepper squeeze? I don't got no pepper squeeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> this false rose bush, man. These are so cool. Like. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Does he got Fae Flu? Uh oh! He's fucking dead, sir! Please hold. That's this shit. Oh, never. I'm sorry! <laughs> That's what you got, right? So we have to do this one off the top of our head. Did so you can help me? I've recently been having headaches. Sorry, I don't look pink. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
That's Faye Flu. We just looked at this a moment ago. <laughs> Rip. Maybe it's carbon monoxide, though. I don't think so. Uh, if his eyes are looking pink, right? That's because of the flower stuff. What's that song slow motion? I can't. Oh, everything is broken. <laughs> Ripperoni. I can't read anything. Oh, forbidden action insufficient. What the shit? You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! <laughs> I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! <laughs> to top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! Oh no. He probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Oh, Man. it's the unicorn fungus. Please oh, hold. no. It's this thing. Unicorn fungi. That, like, uh... Not to lead to household problems, which is broken because they... What is this? They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Broken floorboards, upside, uprooted plants, blah, blah, blah. It's gotta be that, right? We'll go away after a few months, but can to be trading. Rip. That's not it. But what else would make the... I guess it could also be something... Because dogs get eaten by, like, everything. Everything, right? So maybe it's something else. What Was there anything... Not wood secretions. Termites, guys. Um, Because the dog wouldn't go away if it was this, right? Like, the, the phone guy would go away, but the dog would still be there. So the fact that the dog is, a, like, gone is kind of weird. Floor roots? No. Did this make holes? Wrap themselves. But then he would still see that it's dead, right? It's frozen putt. Uh, a little danger. However, if not spider clearly, I don't know. Which, yeah, it doesn't say anything about holes here. I mean, it says some damage. Uh, repair to floors is needed. Photo does- it does have this- a dog. <laughs> they wear just- holes in the gr what kind of hob does this? Or like, gnome does this? Um, it's not- I don't think portal. Laundry gnome, lamp sprite, no. Pipe growth. Maybe it is just, uh... Maybe it is just a unicorn fungi. Because what else could it be? There's nothing that makes holes, right? As far as we know. Another grow. Another grows. Nothing of that sort. It's gotta be. It's gotta be unicorn fungi. I mean, may, I don't know. I don't know why the dog would disappear, though. Yeah, the dog itself d dug the holes, right? It's gotta be. There's just some people saying that it's not that, but... I don't know. I don't know why the dog would disappear, but... <laughs> Uh, there's nothing else that really fits the description. Maybe, uh, cause maybe a fracture hob would eat dogs, right? No, but we already said fracture hobs so many times, so I don't really know. This thing is fucking creepy. It's so cool. <laughs> what the hell? Can often cause. To someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living That's what I say. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What well, it's one of those travel is, gnome, right? Is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? <laughs> Please it's hold. just the one that we just read, the travel gnome. The one that makes plants and shit. Travel gnomes, they will often make expensive gardens. Yeah, let's go, travel gnome. Easy peasy, we just read this. Absolutely free. Nice. <laughs> I mean, we might have made a mistake here, but maybe this one was wrong. There's now only a few remaining. Oh. There's something. There's 
something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. Cellar growth? It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. Or a grotto. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. It's gotta be the grotto. deal with something like this. Might be a lot of water down there. Please hold. It's probably... What was it? What's it called exactly? Some something grotto. Um, cellar grotto. Here we go. Um, large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously. Let's read this, because we haven't read cellar growth. Cellar growth are large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments, such as cellars. Homeowners infested with cellar growth commonly report a slimy residue, the sound of dripping or stretching, or strange glows coming from their cellar. As cellar growths most commonly grow on ceilings, their weight can often cause duress to a home's foundation, and as such, their removal should be prioritized. prioritized. The slimy residue they drip onto the floor can also be toxic to small mammals or human children. And in their infancy, cellar growths can be easily scraped off and the affected area to be sanitized to prevent further growth. If cellar growth starts glowing or pulsating, it is no longer safe to remove in this manner and is highly advised to utilize HSH's fungal removal services. It's gotta be the grotto, right? For sure. Like pests and bad smells, uh, everything lines up with the cellar grotto. Well, uh, it, it's uh, dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Give you the snorkeling equipment to fucking go on a spelunking adventure. <laughs> hey, 100% accuracy! Who fucking said that I was wrong about any of this shit? You were wrong! It was right, 100%, baby, another coupon. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Thursday, complete your fourth day on the job. We are great assets to this company, let's go. Mailbox, gimme. Give me the coupon. Do not come here too they are full. Uh, what the fuck? The hole is breached. I am prepared. The hole hole is bracket. It is not not sad here. I must find a new spot. I knows I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Sad pay. Scheduling changes. Employee 36. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. <laughs> fuck you. Rest assured your additional labors will be recognized. Will they be paid though? Kyano, Kyano, Kyano Snow. Thank you for the five gift subs. They better be paid. Congratulations, Emily. Your high accuracy rate has rewarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Tamed River Root. Holy shit, that price. What the fuck? Plugged and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil. This river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle high-frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well-watered and well-monitored. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Root in, root in for you. Keep up the great work. That is, I mean, a decent discount, but holy fuck that price, though. Why would I want that? All right, no new movie rights, so we're sending it. <laughs> God damn. My job when they said we would get employee discounts. But, it, I mean, it seemed like it actually did something, right? Oh. We're going to be 100% accurate again today. We got to be. We want that next coupon. Give me new data. I want to see these la This might be? I mean, maybe there's two more or two more unlocks of datas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty left. Twenty unlocks still remaining for us to get. Maybe we're going to get ten here. 
Oh god, supervisor, Hello. of course. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above <laughs> and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. <laughs> Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Stop talking like you're a fucking <laughs> old Englishman. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Okay, new stuff! Animation. Animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. <clears throat> there were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they <laughs> say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic satanistic ritual crap I assume. Is it the bush? So tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Property. <laughs> godless. Wait, what? Is it the tree? Uh, wait, let's finish reading this stuff. Um, animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business, but their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function, and no further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign of more dangerous activity. In these cases, it is advised to contact HSH's pest removal services. Right. Um, <clears throat> is this something new? Falls. So this is what would kind of fit the description. Because it eats children. It's like a bush with legs that hunts children. What is a false flower? Uh, false flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common household plants. Or house plants. They are known to take root indoor in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they have taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. Imagine Jeff to listen to that every single fucking day. Cobalt. Cobalt are five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them their home. Homeowners infested with kobolds will often report broken floorboards. Oh, maybe it was that. Kobolds are harmless to humans until they. No, I guess we already we got the last one correct. So it was the unicorn thing. Kobolds are harmless to human humans unless they are discovered or until they are discovered. At which point, they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like heads out from behind corners and whis whimpering. Do not ever enter a kobold's domain. Solution. Once you not attempt to remove a kobold from their home, it is strongly advised to hire professionals and utilize HSH's pest removal services. Uh, rain nymph soap. What the f- Sprig tree?! Uh, what the fuck is that? Sprig tree are rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in a human body. I thought that was a body. I was like, what the fuck? <gasps> they are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree with it while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There's no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while other others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for the infected individual. Fuck, man. Okay. Uh, what's a sprig vine? 
Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. Wait, that's what we saw in the 12,000... Remember the 12,000 house? That's exactly what it looked like. They're often a sign that a Spriggan has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry, touching the case of flood, fires, or a Spriggan in pursuit. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the Spriggan that made them desires it. It is advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. No wonder it was basically free. Uh, we're looking for... What the fuck are we looking for? There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be no good teenager having joined up with the Dungeons and Dragon bullshit. Uh, because he's been gone for days now, and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree... Oh, it is this! It is the Spriggan thing. It is Sprig tree. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric because it's his clothes and some kind of black liquid. Okay, rip the child. Sprig tree. There we go. Uh, lol. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Rip. Okay. Soap sprite. Ugh. Soap sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy- <clears throat> Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Just me? Well, let's speak about some noise in my house and after the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is every night I'm hearing clattering noises. It's some kind of hob, maybe. Is he checking the kitchen? But the place looks spotless, so it's gotta be a hob, right? Because hob's clean. Can you tell me? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what's a trash gnome, though? Maybe that's it? Oh, no, that doesn't look like it. Trash gnomes are subspecies of gnome with thick brownish-gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotting, rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, chipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once homed. I'll, I'll check animation. One sec. Uh, while their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as the loss of a finger or nose while attempting to discard trash or remove trash bag from the receptacle. They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rapely and tetanus. So, rabies and tetanus. To prevent a trash gnome from homing inside your trash, it is recommended to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two, as their noses are highly sensitive to the smell. Remove a trash gnome permanently. It is highly advised to use the pest removal services. Um, I think it's probably a hob, but what is animation? Why are you guys all saying animation? Um, clattering noises. I mean, yeah, there's clattering noises, but they don't clean. Isn't there a kitchen hob or something? There's no kitchen hob. Is it, didn't I say something about a pipe hob? Hob hobs are subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside two black structures, such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. They will commonly emerge from home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning in the process. Right? Hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen because the pipe? Why would it be a. Why are you guys. We need to specify the hob. Or is it specifically bathroom? I mean, that definitely is... Wait, why? Uh, pipe hobs are not direct danger to humans, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what? Why is it specifically common hob? They are also clean. They're small human structures. They have no false face. They're known for tendency to consume dirt, dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floor. 
and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Uh, in the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any sound of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Um, can you tell me what's actually I mean, it's... What is the difference between a pipe and common hob in this situation? It's just clattering noises coming from the kitchen. What? Why would... What? What? I guess that is pretty clattering noises. Dishes are- yeah, I know it says something about dishes. But this is way more clattering. Pipe Hob wouldn't clean the whole kitchen? Why not? What makes you think that? Pipe Hobs are sisters. Cleaning- see? Commonly come from there at home at night, consuming any dirt, grime, and surrounding area. I guess it would just be the sink? Because they're small? Sure, I'll say common hob. I mean, there definitely is some hob because it's cleaning. And I guess you guys seem very convinced that it's... Is this clattering? Yeah, they're called clogs and leaks, what these nuts seem to be talking about. Sure, sure, I'll, I'll go with that. But this better not come back to haunt us. Because I want the fucking coupon. Coupon. <clears throat> Alright, new ones. Closet labyrinth? Closet labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside of the closets or inside of the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by wealthy homeowners with closet labyrinths. Wait. Owned by the wealthy, sorry. Homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sound of distant cries coming from their closet. What the fuck? Just from your company, one of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. Singing? None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Okay. Something singing. Old. It sounds like something we haven't read yet. I'm just gonna finish reading this real quick. Um, closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design. They can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. They are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. If a closet labyrinth is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lure of the labyrinth's hidden riches. If it is absolutely vital a closet labyrinth be removed from a home, it is advised to utilize the labyrinth removal team. Okay, let's see. Do we have something? Plants. Rain nymph? Uh, creepy. <laughs> False flower. Oh yeah, the singing, right? Fuck is this? Is that a face? I want to just read this one, so we, in case we run into network error, we'll be, fi we'll be fine. Rain nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors, asking to be let inside. Open the door, I have a surprise for you. Homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs often report flooding. The floods rain nymphs cause can lead to water damage, which can be both costly and dangerous to a home. Rain nymphs are very preventable in that their pleas to be let inside can simply be ignored. It is advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms to avoid having to endure a rain nymph's various temptations and threats. Okay, wait. Um, false flower? The false flower sings, right? We have that. Slender creatures, they are known to take root. It says indoor potted plants. Hiding themselves, disguising themselves amongst the flowers. Baking. Someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. Let's feel like, I mean. 
Why would mushrooms do something else, right? They're like in walls, not in a greenhouse. Uh, the, the whistling mushrooms are different. I think. It's drywall, right? Yeah, it's singing, not whistling. And it's also, this is more inside, because it's like, and this is just hiding in the plants. Let's go with false flower. Um, because it seems to line up very well. No, the, the bush with legs doesn't sing, I don't think. Wait, let's see. Is there, there's more. Dream weaver. What the fuck? Dream weavers are large spider-like creatures. Oh, that one. Known to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. Bunker spider? Hey, Flipper here. I've got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. You know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the uh, spit, crud, and juice, and the... Uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. What the fuck? <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> what the hell? That's awesome. Dream weavers are a parasitic creature, parasitic in nature, and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increasing anxiety, and the large webs they weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Thank you so much, my lady. <laughs> Why you talk like that? Um, solution. To remove a dream weaver from a household, homeowners should refrain from sleeping for as long... Oh, the wine thing. Or it's a lamp sprite! Cause there's a, yeah, a lamp sprite for sure. Uh, I'm reading this one though first. I wanna hear the sound as well, but I first wanna read it. Uh, to remove a dream weaver from one's household, homeowners should refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dream weavers will often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with sleep-inducing venom. Do not let them do this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pro tip, dude. Okay, uh, it's gotta be lamp sprite, right? Oh, well, we have to go off of our brain, and I think it's definitely... Because it flies in, right? It's a flying thing, and it makes burning or burning smell. It's for sure lamps, right? Uh, <laughs> this, it makes you sleep. All right, let's hope that was correct. It's still the same sound. Wait. Wait, that is the sound of the lamps, right? So it's actually. Oh, hello. It, it took my daughter. It took oh, my no. daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. What? 
Roots? Floor... Floor roots? But why would it be floor roots? That's like super slow. How could you look? Please you just looked at that? I feel like... Really? Isn't it like the thing of floor roots that is super slow? Uh, floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awaken and wear human adults. Not spotted quickly, they are known to strangling hazard and pets while they sleep. Roots require... It doesn't... Is it wrong? Doesn't seem like this like drags them down. It just it just kills them, right? It just uh, chokes them. Uh, it's awful. T I mean, I guess the tendrils took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Doesn't say anything about dragging spring spring. Sprig vines? No, because that's... No, because that doesn't drag everyone, anyone down. Then you have the the rose bush thing. But that doesn't take anyone down with them. Didn't he say something about... I guess it is a floor root. Oh, did it say the root will be gone? Oh, yeah, so it takes... Okay, I, I mean, it's the only thing that... That even remotely fits the description, so it's got to be floor because it disappears afterwards. Does it say that? Uh, if that's uh, leave their roots by morning. The root, the one root should be gone. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I think that fits. It says that they get disappeared, so I guess it is. Let's go right. They give it a three. I, there was one thing I didn't fully read yet. Lots of labyrinth. Love that bees are still in here. We've never used this. <laughs> oh, whoops. It, 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 it stole me. It stole oh, it's a mirror nymph. That's fucking haunting, dude. Please hold. The voice acting so good. That's gotta be this, right? Mirror names are subspecies of names that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They're generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. Begging others to look into homeowners afflicted by mirror names commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror names, although a nuisance, are not directly a danger to humans. Mirror names will wander to different locations. I guess. Face gone, please hold. <laughs> I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Please get me back. Yeah. So you have to break the mirror, right? The fact that homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Okay, well... I'm sorry. <laughs> Please hold. Uh, Night Wisp? No, oh, I already saw that. Portal we read... Rain Nymph was super creepy. Oh. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles. Uh, and the horde! And other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. I hate the way she talks. Please hold. It's got to be the horde, right? The horde. The horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. Yeah, it's like it, it says something about needles, right? Uh. And stuff. Uh, it's rotten food, used syringes. All right, the horde. Sick. Okay, ready to move, lady. <laughs> Wasn't that the thing? Oh, it's it's just H. Or the horde. There we go. Uh, didn't it say that? Yeah, it is advice to sell the home. That's so funny to me. <laughs> what an advice. 
Yeah, just sell your house to someone else who's gonna have to deal with it. It's not your problem anymore. Uh, I wanna get a someone that, that has like a portal or some shit. And then tell them to go in there. <laughs> Check out the portal, sir. It's Oh, Soap Sprite! We didn't read this one. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Wisp? Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows I at wisp? night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Yeah, I gotta be nice. Please nervous. hold. Please hold. Uh, easy peasy, right? The the lights. And just uh, bright lights out night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. Um. Night wisp. Send me. Everyone be like fucking teens. <laughs> it's soap sprite. Soap sprites are such a spray that are known for consuming material and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a su suds like substance that is used to digest their meals. Hey, uh, so I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. No, it's the portal yeah, I was talking about. I think I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Uh-oh. But no, lady, stop! Please I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna send this one quick. Because otherwise she's gonna die. It's portal. Portal, portal, portal. Fucking scroll. Portal. <laughs> Don't go in there, lady. You're gonna die. To <laughs> put her on hold after the uh so Sprite, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu to humans who handle them, making them a serious household hazard. Soap Sprites are easy to remove and dispose of by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils. Identifying Soap Sprites can be difficult, so it is recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure that they can be identified and removed as fast as possible. This might be like sound strange but i think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom like i went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night you know and i could see something slithering under near the sink wait is it this like, uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know whatever but when i turned on the lights nothing was there it's literally <laughs> what we just read I checked under the towel like under you know like that little soap thing and everything but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still gotta be hiding in here. <laughs> it's definitely the soap sprite. All right, well, that's a f we're just speed running now. It's soap sprite, for sure. We just read this whole thing. It's exactly what we just read. <laughs> I wanna check out Portal again. Portal is so cool. Uh. Accuracy 100%! Let's go! We're insane! You guys were right about the common hall, by the way. Good job, gamers. Good job, good job. Complete your fifth day on the job. Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your very own autopilot ship. Where you will eat and sleep. Sorry. Um, welcome to your fifth day on the job. Uh, this is this guy again. This address is no longer active. Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. As of 4-30-1996, uh, this address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive emails. If you still need support from HSH, please email at support. Okay, well, rip this guy. Mike is dead. What do we get? Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you daily the daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Hag Hide, <laughs> source cruelty free, from the perished and treated with our flower scent, flower scented formula. He said the best quality Hag Hides you'll find this month only will throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe heaven. It should be sleep easier, sleep safer. 
Receive your discount. Haggle in for deals. Keep up the great work. What the fuck? Why would I want that? Okay. And there's a new movie. Show me. What a steal. This game is so fun. It's such a good game. Thunder Peak is one of the one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. And this guide will show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. Didn't it say as of 4:30? That's tomorrow. I guess it's gonna be shut off tomorrow. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. This is a fucking PowerPoint presentation. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Nice music. Water bottle <laughs> with water. Iron sword? Excuse me, is this Dark Souls? <laughs> Climbing gloves. <laughs> if you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of Th the Thunder Park's guides before embarking. <laughs> the tri trail. So let's see how they give it the six. Thunder Peak Trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting of mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Oh. Pace yourself as your progress. This is both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Miss hiking. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. If you see red and yellow lines, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. I've never seen that on a hike. It's actually very clever. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Why would you do that? Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray. If you hear this sound, stay still. <laughs> Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. <laughs> Excuse me? What happened after that? <laughs> you made it. Now enjoy the view. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I feel like we're missing some steps. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so good, man. <laughs> Rewind. I want to see it again. <laughs> That was amazing. All right. Uh, oh, what the fuck? There's a person on my desk. Wasn't it there before? 
Wait. Is this a per is my computer a false artifact and this person has been like captured by my computer? I don't know what's happening here. I'm going. <laughs> I'm sending it. God damn it, gotta work on Saturday and Sunday. Person that went into the portal, maybe? Here we go. We found Mike. Maybe Mike. Oh, we're gonna get the final entries, probably. Don't let me hang it like this. There we go. <laughs> Hi there. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Excuse me? I don't think I want my time in the soil to arriveth. <laughs> Permissions have been updated. Autumn vines? Autumn vines are vines with orange or, or red leaves that are known to slow... Oh, hello. I didn't sign that con. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. That's... <laughs> Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. It's a wine sprite. <laughs> Please hold. It's the wine thing. Uh, what was it called? The wine sprite that like uh, breaks your glasses and stuff. <laughs> Let's go. Not, the <laughs> Not those fancy wines. Uh, what to say? I know just let it grow over a house frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Danger! Oh, Jesus Christ, you guys are calling fast, man. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and. Oh, the leaky it. thing. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so. The I need wood to know secretions. What to do about this as soon as possible. The wood secretions that smell Be like hard. candy to a child. Don't lick it. Do not lick it. <laughs> Forbidden candy. Uh, light or blissful. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accident thanks to their blissful dizzying effects. Solution: To remove autumn vines from a household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insect or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. <clears throat> I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. What? Jeez, Have we read this? I don't know if we... Dorka? What is a Dorka? Dorka is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorka commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of gr great lurking shadow. Dorka will deliver that which it seeks. There's no coming back from deliverance. Dorka is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Dorka is to be found by Dorka if you are loved... If you or a loved ones are sought by Dorka, it is advice to grieve and find peace through acceptance. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, is this a new one? Puka? Spriggan! Uh, Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely. I'm looking at this picture. Where is he on the picture? Is it that? 
Or like outside? They are rarely seen in household and reside primarily in trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree with the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. That's gotta be it, right? Something is moving in the trees. I can never get a good look at them. They're watching. They're out there. I've seen their eyes. It's gotta be this spriggan. Um, rest in peace. My guy's dead. Uh, what's a puka? <laughs> Excuse me, it's a dog? Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Oh, the fuck? My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they For grow ish? around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. It's the autumn vines? Would you tell my brother that things are good? She's blissful. It's autumn vines. Please hold. For sure. It's gotta be. Feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful, and she sounds fucked up, man. <laughs> she sounds suited. She took too much she took too much TZP in Hayland. No. Wait, what were we reading? We're, we were reading Puka. I wanna read the Puka! Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. What? Memory thing? I think it's something He's new. Old. I think it's something new. Let's read this, though. Uh, to replace uh, such as dogs or cats and live in place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests, pests and disease hazards within the home. The foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be discouraged to, discouraged to leave a home... It encouraged, I'm assuming, to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they seek from frightening homeowners. So refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them, and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. Uh, what the fuck? Let's see, is there anything that sounds... Troll Warlock Remnant 1? <laughs> what the fuck? It's new. <laughs> Warlock Remnant? Neighbor's Doorway Leprechaun? What the fuck? Neighbors' doorways are doorframe-like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallel. Maybe it's this. Parallelism. Parallelism. How do you fucking pronounce this word, bro? Parallelism. Parallelism. That's the one. <laughs> Neighbors' doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallel <laughs> stop I'm gonna die will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human we comes through the other side. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. It is advised to utilize HSH's doorway removal service. One can prevent neighbors' doorways from occupying by practicing mindfulness and not letting one mi one's mind 
wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. Wait, what? Unwanted household activity. Perceived missing... Is this this? They are in my family. I don't know what has happened. Please tell me. I want to get back to my family. Could be. Sounds similar. Maybe that's what this is. Parallelism or whatever the fuck. Uh, please, I was told you could help me. My family, they are my family. I don't know what has happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. I mean, Memory Wisp doesn't feel like it's fitting, because... I mean, let's see. Uh, Memory Wisps are invisible. Wait. Memories are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners invested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, blah, blah, blah. And the inability to remember the face of loved ones. Memory wisps are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can often lead to household accidents or reckless activity. That doesn't feel right. Re reanimation? What the fuck? I clicked it twice. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside their home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They are also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners. And are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. That's not it. The animation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocating is not necessary or advisable. It is advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may have recently sighted and make peace or bargain. The fuck? Okay, so... I feel like it's the neighbor's door. That feels very... I think it's this. It's gotta be neighbor's doorway. Cause she's going like Insano style. There's still more uh troll. Twitch chat. Um trolls are giant twelve foot tall nocturnal creatures that wait, what does it sound like? That are normally not seen in the home. However, Jesus. Hi. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Fresh home? Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean... My dog this... can't even lay down something that big. <laughs> it's gotta be, right? The, the rotten eggs is the smell Please that they hold. talked about. Trash gnome. <clears throat> um. Burrow. Finding large clumps of fur throughout the house. Tip garbage cans and loud crunching sounds at night. Rotten egg smell. Trash gnomes. I think. Or, no, feasts, you would say, like, there's food. Not fucking trash, like, and rotten eggs. <laughs> Feast is good. Right? A fae feast is good. Feasts are mid to large as positive. Various edible food substances. Frequently, blah, blah, blah. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left... Oh, maybe she left it untouched? Where I looked. To see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too, which is me worried. There's no way. Why would that smell so stinky? What is a warlock remnant, though? <laughs> the fuck? Warlock remnants are a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks. <laughs> Most commonly inhabiting all older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants will often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective services. Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious 
homeowners, however. Homeowners can purge the remnants from their home with the use of a Sealy Stone, but the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous and not recommended. If a warlock presence proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it is highly recommended for homeowners to simply relocate. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, it's gotta be a trash thing, right? Trash, um... Trash gnome? What the fuck? I wanna read the troll one. Uh, however, during the winter... They will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. What the hell? Yeah, relocate from your castle real quick. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Is it a dream thing? Please hold. It's not, it doesn't sound like the teeth. Bed bugs? Bed bugs. <laughs> that would be so funny. After all that shit. Bed hag. Yeah, probably bed hag. Actually, well, let's finish reading this one before we read that one. Um. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll! As active troll will leave, an active troll will leave by the morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV light to prevent future break-ins. Okay, uh, what is a bed hag? What the fuck? Uh. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly, woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, or the feeling of hev a heavy weight on their chest. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems, such as asthma, may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags known to steal are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath, and sometimes sleep paralysis. What the fuck? Uh, bunch of kids waking up. Uh, bed hags can in fact be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pets, such as various insects or mice. In the case where a bed hag is undesirable, it is advised to utilize HSH's pets pest removal service. The bed teeth feels unlikely, because he would have been able to clean that, right? Yeah, he would have been able to clean that off, so he literally would have gotten rid of it by doing... by cleaning it, so there's no way it's bed teeth. Is it literally just bed bugs? <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> but in the, like, end game, and we're all getting, like, the most insane things, it's just fucking bed bugs. Small... Are there pressing can I don't think it is. That's no way. It's gotta be a bed hag. Bed sheets. Is Cause he would have gotten rid of them as well, right? I know bed bugs are hard to get rid of, but he would have cleaned it and gotten rid of it. Or it does say I mean maybe it is. It does say it <laughs> It's actually so fucking funny. Would it literally be bed bugs? <laughs> This is not a bed bug. We know that. Uh, I guess it doesn't really. Bunch of itchy kids wake. Why would they wake up with nightmares though? Why would they wake up with nightmares and stuff? I mean, it's itchy. Makes sense. Yeah, I know. I read the solution. It's they are quite difficult to remove. What's a dream weaver? Or like we already read this, but maybe. You'd have to dreams. Well, this does not cause any harm to humans. It can lead to increased anxiety. Causing children. No, they would see this, right? 
Or maybe it's like... Weave dreams into reality. Oh, it's nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. No. It's bed bugs or bed hag. I guess it does kind of fit. It would be very funny if it was just bed bugs. <laughs> I mean, dad would not... Maybe dad doesn't have the bed bugs, right? Because it does say something specifically about children, right? It does say something specifically about children. They wake up. Steal the breath. <laughs> they don't have... I mean, sure, we'll do bed bugs because it actually kind of fits and it would be very fucking funny. Why would it be bed bugs at this stage of the game, though? Sure, what? <laughs> this is just, just, like... Very surprising. Leprechaun? Yeah, Paris. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Are they... What did it say? Okay, you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here, so tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. Excuse me? Is it literally- is it Leprechaun that we're, that we're reading right now? Let's see. Troll? Oh, Troll was steals the warmth or something, right? Uh, Leprechauns are small humanoid creatures covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, Le Leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they are not properly protected. Additionally, Leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants, such as braces, cr crowns, or joint replacements. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, it is recommended to utilize professional help via HSA special control services. It's gotta be this! <laughs> it's literally that. I mean, the kid doesn't have braces, right? It's a baby. Um, I would think so. I mean, it could be the troll because they steal warm things, but I doubt it. Right? Uh... War materials is blank and no, no, no. It's, it's literally Leprechaun. We just kind <laughs> of read it. <laughs> uh, there. Yeah, it stole the metal from the heater, which made it break. Let's go. Uh, was there another new? We've read everything. We have all the information. I feel so powerful. <laughs> this fucking warlock remnant, dude. <laughs> They really nailed, like, the world building here with all these weird as hell, like, the beneath the soil and all kinds of other crazy stuff. I actually really hope that one was bed bugs. That would have been so fun. The Dorka. <laughs> or Dorka. I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this... Strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. <laughs> I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Please <laughs> hold. So do they fart? <laughs> Hearing the sound of air? I didn't even realize air escaping in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, they do fart. <laughs> Whoa. Inflation and deflation. Yeah, they, when they deflate, they fart. <laughs> Wait, do we have a sound? No, we don't have the fart sound. The whoopee cushion. <laughs> Do not ever approach a troll. Hello, I saw your 
commercial, and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Have I even ever read Tree Sprite? Tea Sprite? Sprite? I don't think I have ever read this. Oh. No, but it's gotta be. <laughs> Fuck! This is the one out of all the entries that we I don't think we ever read. It's gotta be. Like, that's the only thing that... It's, it's gotta be Tea Sprite. And then we'll read it after this. And we hope that we're correct. <laughs> That's so unlucky. This object. We'll see. I hope though. I feel like we did read it. I swear I was one of those that I clicked on to start reading and then some asshole called me. You piece of crap. It was bees. After all that. Hey, didn't thank you for the super chat. What the hell? Give me my stuff back. Call me. You're breaking it. Once again, the call are crazy. Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling short. Ah, this is bed hag. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma. Oh. Some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Okay. Well, it's definitely the bed hag. Please. Okay, hold. but I also want to agree to see Sprite. It's still broken? Alright then, well, it's bed hag, so. Because we read that before. The kids are still alive at least. Hag. <laughs> Insanely creepy sound. You guys gotta fix this network shit, man. I can't do my job like this. I have to remember all the fucking error codes. It's ridiculous. And when I had uh, HTML classes or like web web design classes, uh, one of like we actually had a test with like what are the different fucking error codes you can get on your website. It was one of, like one of the most ridiculous things I've ever had to learn. I completely forgot it right after because I was like, this shit is stupid as fuck. You just Google it, man. This weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. <laughs> is it the whistling fun guy? <laughs> Please hold. Uh, wait, I w can I finally read this shit? Thank you, tea sprites. So there's a there's no the fee of tea and tea leaf residue. Homeless and visible tea sprites commonly report leaf-like droppings and the sound of fluttering near kitchens. Bees, yes. Tea sprites are not that directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu, to be removed as soon as possible. Tea sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides and traps, provided they are baited with tea leaves. To avoid future infestations, be sure to always clean cups, tea cups, kettles, and mugs after use. Okay. Uh, whistling fungi. I'm missing fucking our smart. This is. Wasn't that the exact same thing? Isn't that the exact same sound? From what? Can I not play it back? But why is this even an option if you can't use it? She's fucked, dude. I think that's the exact. Oh. You have to wait. He's dead. I, th I mean, it's a little slower, but it's gotta be. Oh, they're singing in harmony. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie doopsie. Because <laughs> they're singing in harmony, which means she has to fucking run. If the whistling fucker ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. 
Well, we'll finally find out what happens when that when they do that. Because <laughs> we don't know. Because it doesn't say here what actually happens when, <laughs> when it does that. The pile keeps growing. Tell me how to get rid of it. The instructions you sent didn't work and it smells so foul. I'm hearing angry voices coming from the walls. They keep telling me to eat it. Please, I don't want to eat it. Don't make me eat it. No, that was definitely the horde. That was the lady that called back with the horde. <laughs> from the horde last time. What the fuck, dude? <clears throat> that was just uh just a just an update. She is dead. We do I love that the guy is like, oh she's dead, I don't have to say anything. No, we had a hundred percent accuracy last day, guys. So um, it can't have been that. Hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy meatball too. He's really been acting up lately i can hardly blame him it, it smells so terribly rotten please can you help does terrible smell my house i can figure out where the earth where on earth is coming from so i'm sitting my puppy is it a puka <laughs> he's been acting up lately oh and it's the, the disposing body or the decom decomposing body Dude, that she's oh. smelling oh rest in peace it's a pool car. <laughs> of course. Rest in peace, meatball. You just have to pretend not to notice, right? Look at that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Hi Flipper, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was this, this mouse or mice? Oh! Oh, we were all, wait, we actually we needed more than 90% to get a coupon, right? So we made one mistake. The bed bugs was probably wrong. <laughs> uh maybe. I don't know if the bed bugs were wrong. Complete your sixth day on the job. We have an entry browser. What's this? Wait. Uh, we get a coupon. Congratulations. Wait, let's read the coupon first before we read that one. Congratulations, everybody. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Glamour Stone. Whether you're simply tired, too tired to concentrate or if you just want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal and glamour stones have an our glamour stones have a ninety-nine point nine percent reliability rating. What does that even mean? <laughs> Wham glam thank you, ma'am. <laughs> it's the discount code. <laughs> Keep up the great work, employee. It's a pretty hefty discount. I don't think I want that though. Uh Employee 36, we are happy to report that you are that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension assuming you pass the trial the soil is fertile keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend what are you fucking talking about what's this oh wait okay so you can see the entries here if you wanted to read some of the entries but we already read all of them multiple times i'm assuming that's because we're gonna get the ending when we click here um is there oh Wait, there's a hole on the screen. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, no. Well, what's going to happen? Clicky, clicky. Sunday. Uh-oh. Mike was right. The fertile PC soil. Thy trial hath begun. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I can't click anything. What does that mean? I'm clicking it. No current callers. I have to click on... The right thing. Return to the dirt. 
Excuse me. Oh. We are many, we are above, we are followers of a cream. What are we, bees? Bees? Please hold. Look at bees. Finally, bees. <laughs> oh, did I do it? Showcase thy knowledge. Okay, interesting. This is a test. We need to complete the test or we're going to get fucked. That seems exactly like bees. There's no way. This is like a riddle. Give me. This is nice, nice background sounds. Carbon monoxide. Have we ever had that? I'm not living yet. I clatter. I am small. I am weak. I serve my purpose. Then I die. What am I? It is. I am not living yet. I clatter. I'm not looking at chat. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Hold on, Please hold. Help. Let me look. Uh, can we read the... It's. I mean, animation sounds kind of si similar, if we remember. I thought it was going to be all normal stuff now. I'm not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. Okay, so we're going to have to literally know every single thing. So yeah, because animation really fits that one. Because it was like a tiny little guy that just did something. Oh yeah, and they served their purpose, and then they were just like, "Goodbye, I fuck right off." <laughs> Please hold, uh, Mister Fucking God. <laughs> yeah, animation for sure. Because um, you just have to let them do their thing, right? You just have to. Oh, you just have to make them uh, complete their purpose, and then you just have to leave them behind, or like then they would just disappear by themselves. And if they stayed for long, you could do something. This is a no evidence run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. What are they going to ask next? Oh, no. This is hard. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water. Of the sky, rain nymph or something. Please That's, hold. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am yeah, encroacher of the dry. She like doesn't. She tries to break into the house, right? I'm friends of the water of the sky. What am I? Dude, these are cool. This gotta be rain nymph because they beg to get in, right? And you just need to not do that. You need to not let them in. This is fun. <laughs> do we actually get rewarded for paying attention the whole way through? <laughs> Press on, employee, instead of just like fucking winging it every time. We actually were trying hard. I'm the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? I mean, there's reanimations, or there's the the thing, the warlock thing, or the wait. Why would it be Dorka? Didn't something? Oh, didn't it? What did they say about Dorka again? Housefly. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse <laughs> Carbon monoxide Fuck uh, I am the harbinger of death I am the bringer of pestilence I It could actually be mouse Like not Not even kidding <laughs> Forever I think it is actually mouse I am the harbinger of death Like they carry the The black plague right The black death I am the bringer of pestilence, which they always say about, about mice. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? I'm gonna say mouse, just because it would f we it would feel like we go full circle. Let's go! <laughs> That's so sick. Rejoice! 
Remember when we had mouse two times on the first day and we got so confused for like 15 minutes? <laughs> we went full circle. Rejoice. We are going to super die. Oh, this is that, uh, warlock. St wait. Oh, no, it's the, the closet labyrinth. Closet labyrinth. I seek the domains of those who have too much. I st step within and they lose their way. What am I? Closet labyrinth for sure. Closet labyrinth. Yeah. Because it was sp specifically targeting wealthy people in the description. Expand thy mind. <clears throat> what in the frick? The back rooms. There's so many different answers. Have to remember. We have to memorize all of this, <laughs> and we did. Organs. <laughs> Your companions of the garden, we compel those to tread, to tread no longer. What are we? Oh, it, yeah, it could be travel gnomes. Or seedlings! Seedlings, yes! For sure, seedlings. Because they want... If you remove any weeds when there's a seedling, they fucking eat your ass, right? Yeah, it's gotta be seedlings. They never have to fill in seedlings. I think, ever before this. Please hold. Let go thy stilted soul. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't learn for a test the night before they say. <laughs> yeah, we can. I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? The bringer of destruction? Is it just fire? Oh my god. Yes, dude, you got that I would not have gotten that one. That's actually you guys are genius. That's like hive mind working right there. Dude, that's a very cryptic one. I completely forgot house fire was even an option because we never. I, I don't think I even read the house fire entry because it's just like, well, it's a fucking fire. <laughs> that's sick though. That's a good. That's a good. That's a great riddle. House fire. I'm in the forsaken oil and this light. Yeah, let's go. The send. <laughs> the send, guys. Did you see that his nose looked like a mole nose? By the way. Uh oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna become one with the with the moles. <laughs> this is the Dorka. This is the Dorka. I am the seeker. Remember, I'm the one who delivers Dorka for sure. Old. It was the one who delivers. <laughs> The Amazon man. <laughs> Amazon delivery guy. <laughs> Get seeked. I want to read that that thing again. That's why they had it on the desktop so you could practice. If you kept failing this, you could practice the different entries. Man, this is a hard test. If you you'd really have to like know every single one. And just keeps going. This is actually. Oh, what the Hello. fuck? Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Fucking terrifying. That's a screenshot. Look at a haunted lady. Promotion oh. in progress. Please stand by. Help! S Supervisor Carol, please! I'm dead. It's a Terraria cave music. 
<laughs> Sorry. What the fuck is going on? Please be not afraid. Come close. What the fuck is this? What if I dumb? Do you have a crown for me? What is this? This is actually straight up terrarium music, by the way. <laughs> Uh, you dropped this king, she said, and then she gave me the fucking spriggan crown or whatever. <laughs> oh god. Is she- Oh, she has the stone! All hail our new junior supervisor! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dude, I love this game. What a great game, man. <laughs> so many people worked on this? Oh, so many voice actors. Junior supervisor, let's go, guys. <laughs> that was incredible. This is like genuinely lived up to every one of my expectations because I played the demo for this a while ago, uh, which was very good, and I looked forward to the main game, and the main game was amazing. So yeah, literally ten out of ten. Like honestly, I don't. There was no no. I have nothing negative to say about this game ever. And you know me, I will always find something negative to say about any game. So uh, that means it's a very good game. So yeah, Home Safety Hotline lived up to exactly what I wanted it to be. Very cool. Love the like uh, old timey computer aesthetic, the creepy cryptids and like SCP ish like situations with the weird company. And like, I don't know what happened to Mike and there's some uh, unanswered questions, but that doesn't really matter much. Like it's all just, just the vibe, like the vibe of the mystery is just very cool. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. If you're watching over on YouTube, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, I love the game, share your chat, you can join us over at Twitch.tv slash Instagram, the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.